Do you want to hear a karma story? I'll tell you about the time I got hit directly by the karma bus. But first, howdy my peeps. If you're just tuning in for the first time, welcome. I'm Heather from Mornings with Heather. And if you're coming back for more, thank you. I appreciate you. I really, really do. How's about we get into this story though? Okay, so this story takes place uh, when I lived in a small town during the same time in which I worked as an EMT. And I lived in a trailer, you know, like 17 miles outside of, outside of town. And my best friend lived in town, like 25 miles away from me. I will say after I had gallbladder surgery, my appetite was non-existent. And that's the, that's how I relied on, on uh, knowing that it was time to eat. But one time my best friend came over and she, uh, she looked at my fridge and she saw that there wasn't a whole lot of food. She asked me about it and I said, well, I just don't get hungry that much. So I don't like, I pick up food as I need it. Um, and she didn't like hearing this. So she started at that point calling me to come over for dinner anytime I was home from my shifts. And she was seven months pregnant when all this went down. Okay. <laughs> so keep that in your mind when I, when I tell you what I'm about to tell you. So it was, it was one of my days off. Uh, she called me. She says, hey, dinner will be ready in like 20 minutes. Um, why don't you head on over? And I said, well, I'll head on over as soon as I'm finished doing what I'm doing. Um, I told her I was, I was chopping wood. No, I wasn't chopping wood. Um, but I was fixing to set up the perfect prank. I was going to get my bestie, okay? So as soon as we hung up, I, I gathered all the stuff I needed to do this. And then I drove into town and parked, you know, a mile away from her house to set this prank up. So I made it, I was, I, I dressed my thumb to make it look like I chopped it off. And, you know, I, I would put gauze and then fake blood and then more gauze and then fake blood and then more gauze and then fake blood. It was this thumb, by the way, this, this thumb, the one that is, you can see really messed up. So, um, yeah, I made it look like I had chopped through the thumb so severely that there was no other option but to take me to the hospital. And I, I, I drive to her house, I, I walk in, cause you know, with besties, that's what you do. You don't even have to knock. I, I walk in and I was like, hey, I, I cut my thumb and I think I'm gonna need stitches. And she looked at it and, and her husband at the time was asleep on the recliner in the living room. And she freaks out, she's like, hey, hey, Heather cut her thumb. She's going to need stitches. And he kind of like rolls over and looks up with one eye. Yeah, she'll be fine. And I mean, I almost sent my bestie into premature labor, you guys. That's how worried and concerned she was about all this. Until, I mean, I only let it run for about five minutes before I was like, it's, it's fine. I, I, I'm, I'm just kidding. It's a joke. And she, of course, gives me the gib slap on the back of the head. You brat. And I was like, yeah, I'm sorry. Well, four years later, almost to the day, is when I actually chop off my thumb. Um, and if you haven't seen that video, I'll, I'll link it right here for you to, uh, to go check that one out because it's kind of funny. But I, that's, that's the story of the time that I got hit by the Karma bus. And it was well-deserved. I mean... <laughs> Now, as a result of these things, I don't tend to pull pranks on people. Primarily because all the pranks I ever had, if karma came around to hit me, it would be detrimental to my own health. So I stopped doing my pranks. Plus, you know, you grow up a little bit, but that's, yeah. But hey, if my content made you smile or laugh, please give me a thumbs up or one and a half thumbs if you're like me. <laughs> Comment. Subscribe, all of those things help me out, and I truly appreciate when you do. Um, but that's all I have for you on this one, so until next time, stay happy, stay healthy, and most of all, stay blessed, my friends.